I'm talking with Frank Murray of the Avoca Museum, Main Street, Alta Vista. Frank, you've been executive director of Avoca for a decade now. Your days from retirement. Looking back, what are your proudest accomplishments? Well, I guess I can divide them into uh, things I'm most proud of and then the physical development. Um, first thing, I have a lot of uh, satisfaction in seeing the growth that it's, Avoca has made in relation to it becoming a center of activity for the area. Last year we had 76 different events from weddings to memorial services to showers to parties, just multi-use of the building. I'm 150 volunteers. That gives me a lot of satisfaction. As far as the physical part, we made a lot of changes to the visitor center and the museum, the creation of the Arboretum, the gardens, the slave cemetery restoration. Um, I just feel very fortunate to have had the community involvement that I've had from council down all the way down just to be able to, to see these improvements. Well, this Saturday is the 14th annual Avoca Harvest Jubilee and Wine Festival. You looking forward to the festival? Absolutely. Um, I, I joke with people, I tell them I might quit halfway through just so I can taste the product, I, something I, I have not been able to do for the previous nine years. <laughs> tell us uh, some of what we can expect at the festival. Well, great music from uh, noon to six. Um, I have put a plug in here, too. You can buy tasting tickets in advance out of savings from Bank of the James and Alta Vista or any First National branch or, of course, Miller's Jewelry, uh, who I refer to as the Ticketron of Alta Vista. <laughs> uh, but there's a children's area, there's food, vendors, seven wineries. It's always just been a great, fun atmosphere, and people just enjoy it a lot, and we have benefited from good weather. I hope that continues. On the shade of the trees it kind of sets us apart from other venues. Um, it's just it's just a great family atmosphere, and it's just a good time. And I hope to see it continue to grow. Well, I've also heard it's a, a great opportunity to get a jump start in your Christmas shopping with all those vendors. Oh yeah, I mean anything from jewelry to spices to uh, leather goods. We'll have about 20 different vendors here, and it absolutely is a good way and to uh, shop while you're tasting the wine and getting to, to buy some goods and just a win-win. Well, Saturday is, I've heard, your last official day at Avoca. What are you going to do with all the free time? <laughs> I hope to learn to fish a little better. <laughs> and um, my wife has already moved towards the coast. And uh, I hope to learn how to crab and uh, oyster harvest. You know, I may end up getting a part-time job somewhere, but that's a little bit in the future. Well, Frank, uh, we have certainly uh, enjoyed Avoca for this uh, last decade under your leadership, and we hope that you enjoy your uh, retirement just as uh, much as possible. Well, thank you very much, and I'd like to end with this. I want to thank the community for the support they've shown me and Avoca, and uh, it really and truly all, the, all that's been accomplished has been a true community effort, real teamwork. So that, that's probably a good way to end it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I was just about to ask if there was... Anything else you'd like to say to the listeners? And I think you nailed it. Thank you so much.